What's going on guys? Welcome back to another DM Guard video. So today I'm working on this 07 Chevy Tahoe. It came in with the check engine light. So here are the codes. Right, so as you guys can see is detecting a small and a large leak in the evap system so i'm just going to show you guys a quick way on how you can test your evap system so there is a couple things that can cause the small and the large leak of course the gas cap if they left the loose okay the evap the perch control valve the canister vent valve the canister itself okay and of course any other hose that is cracked within the evap system okay so in my case, I'm gonna show you what's causing my check engine light. Alrighty, so I already removed the perch control valve, okay? So here I have my vacuum right here. So I'm gonna be adding some vacuum. So I'm gonna be testing the perch control valve real quick. So as you guys can see, the vacuum is not holding vacuum, okay? So this is my cause of the EVAP large and small leak right here. Okay, you see how it's losing the vacuum. Okay, so now you could also inspect the tube. This on, this goes on one of the ends for here. So there, there's inside here. There's two little O rings as you can see. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but they're pretty worn out. Okay, on both ends. So you got to make sure you replace this hose as well okay so i have the new uh, perch control valve which i'm going to be doing the same test so i can be showing you guys all right so this is what it's supposed to look like look at the vacuum Oh, okay. So that's what it's supposed to look like. A good purse control valve, okay? So that's why I started checking here because it's the easiest uh, thing to check in the EVAP system and the on this vehicle. So always try to keep it simple, okay? So this is the part number for the purse control valve. Okay, and here I have the new hose as well. Okay, so this one's the vapor canister vent. They uh, some uh, in the GM they call it uh, a vent harness for some reason. Okay, here's the part number right here. Alrighty, guys, thank you guys for watching another DM Guard video. Hopefully this video was helpful to some of you guys. Uh, I know it's a small clip, but like I said, I wasn't gonna go full in depth uh, in the EVAP system. But if you're having this check in your light, same codes as me, there's a big possibility you're having the same issue and it could be an easy repair and a cheap repair, okay? Thank you guys for watching. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and support the channel. Thank you guys. There's a lot more content coming up.